Namaskar children. Welcome back to our class. Today this is session 3 and I am Jansi in front of you. Are you all happy? Staying at home? Stay home. Stay safe. Today our session is about grammar. Children, as all of you are staying at home, I would like to know about your daily routine. As you are Chaitanyans, I know about your daily routine. You just match it whether you are following the same or not. Let us see. I wake up in the morning. I practice yoga. I eat my breakfast. I get ready with my books. At nine, I watch YouTube classes. Did it match? Yes. Hope everybody is following the same. Now children, I have underlined few words in this. Just let us omit the underlined words and read the sentence. I in the morning. I yoga. I my breakfast. I for the video class. Children, there is something missing. What is it? Lapped up, lapped up, lapped up is the sound of your heart. If you don't have your heart, will you be alive? No. If our heart doesn't sound, we are like a dead persons. So don't you feel that this sentence have become dead? Yes, it is the words wake, practice, eat, get ready are the very, very essential words which gives life for this sentence as our heart gives life to us. These words are called action words. As our heart is for our body, so are the verbs for a sentence. Verbs play a very important role. Verbs, the action words, tells when the action is done, when the work is done. So children, did you all observe the sentence? Here are few more words for you. Let us see. Jump, run, write, dance, eat, go. Observe the words children. These are all action words. Action words tell us when the action is done. You know, we have three tenses. Present, past and future. Present, past and future. Past is the one which is over. Present, now what we are living and future going to happen. And today we are going to learn about present tense and past tense. 
So before going into the tenses, tense means time. So before teaching you present tense and past tense, let us look into the conjugation of the verbs, form of the verbs. Go, went, read, read, write, wrote, dance, danced. These are the conjugation of verbs. The verbs which are here are the present form of the verbs and these are the past verbs. These are the present form of the verbs and these are past forms of the verb. Observe the sentence children. My father goes to office by metro train. I love mangoes. I play cricket every day. These two sentences are with I. So let us replace with we. We play cricket every day. My sister drinks Horlicks in the morning. Children, observe the sentence. One more sentence is here. Sun rises in the east. Look at the sentences carefully. These sentences tell us about the habitual action, the universal fact, and regular actions. The verbs which tells about the regular actions, the universal facts, the habitual actions are called simple present tense. So children, the verbs which tells about the habitual actions, regular actions, scientific or universal facts, we call them as simple present tense. Now look at few more sentences. You must remember few points when we use the present tense. Or when the subject is singular, even the verb must be in singular. When the subject is in plural, the verb must also be in plural. If you see the sentences, my father goes to office. My father is the singular subject. Goes, which take ES. My sister drinks Horlicks in the morning. My sister drinks Horlicks in the morning. Here, my sister is singular and S is given to the verb. So, if you observe children, when the subject is singular, we use S or ES forms for the verbs. And when the subject is plural, we do not use any S or ES for the verb. Let us check. My grandparents takes me to the park. My grandparents takes me to the park. Wrong. The sentence is not at all correct. Because my grandparents, this is plural and takes is singular. I told you children, S or ES for the verbs 
can be used only when the subject is in singular. And here, grandparents, this is plural. So, the sentence is wrong. What can be the right sentence? My grandparents take me to the park is the right sentence. Children, you have to write five sentences using singulars. Now, past tense. The word itself tells us that the sentence talks about the action that happened in the past. Earlier, we have already learned about the present and past forms of the verb. Conjugation of verbs. The verbs in these sentences talk about the completed action. Let us see. My uncle came to my house yesterday. They walked across the forest. The cat drank the milk. The dog barked at me. The most important point is to be noted in the usage of present tense and past tense. In present tense, the verb form changes according to the subject. If the subject is singular, the verb form takes S or ES. But in past tense, the verb doesn't change. Remember children, in present form, when you write the sentence, the verb depends upon the subject. If the subject is singular, verb takes singular form. If the subject is plural, it takes plural form. Whereas in past tense, the verb doesn't change. Hope everybody understood today's session. We have given you evaluation sheet. Answer out. We will be back in the next session. Namaskar. Stay home. Stay safe.